Down in the trenches of big time football, you don't expect to find a brain trust. But the starting line of the Nebraska defense could well be the smartest in all of college football. Their combined grade average, A minus. The defensive captain, Mike Keeler, majors in marketing. Scott Strasberger passed up a scholarship to Dartmouth to try football and pre-med with the Big Red. It's still alive, at least. Yeah. Mike Tranmer wants to be a veterinarian. His grade average is just two-tenths of a point from perfect. In the past eight years, Nebraska has had more academic All-Americans than Stanford or Notre Dame or UCLA. The reason? Well, the players point to this woman, Ursula Walsh, who gave up life as a nun to teach the Cornhuskers how to study. So how did a Dominican nun with 20 years experience end up as an academic coach? Well, her career has had more moves in the Nebraska backfield. She began teaching back during segregation days, checking out books for black children from a public library where they were not allowed. The church sent her to Illinois, Alabama, Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Along the way, she collected three master's degrees. She came to Nebraska looking for a PhD and a new way of life. She found both. Oh, hi, Ernst, how you doing? Oh, hi, Ernst. Ernst. How you doing, Ernst? Hi. Yeah. Sure. Eleven years ago, Sister Raymond, as she was known back then, simply walked in with some ideas. All right, let's go. Coach Tom Osborne liked them. That's it. Okay. And hired her. Six months later, she left the religious life. It was scary. You know, I, I'd never had to buy insurance. I'd never had to make payments on a car. My mother was very happy that I was in the order. That, that was fine with her. And so when I called her and I, I told her that I was thinking about leaving, and I said, you know, I'm going to need some money. And she said, you have it. And she never asked me uh, why or anything. She said, you have it. I didn't need it because I got the job. Ursula Walsh had never even seen a Nebraska football game. Sometimes in waves. Sometimes it's real bad and sometimes you don't even have it. She does know how to spot problems, any problems that stand in the way of her boy's academic progress. Like my dad had told me that homesickness is the worst sickness you can have. Does this pressure affect them in ways we seldom hear? Well, yeah, you're, you're a normal, happy student, and then you step into the locker room, and all of a sudden, you become a great player. I heard someone call it a Clark Kent syndrome. That's difficult. Half of the adjusting entry is bad debt expense. When players have trouble with the course, Miss Walsh takes the course herself. Do you think this is true? And haunts study tables after dinner four nights a week. 92% of the football players at Nebraska graduate. That is the highest percentage in the Big 8 Conference. Those who do not must reckon with Ursula Walsh. Anthony Steeles left school two years ago to play pro ball with the Boston Breakers. His graduation was shunted aside amid the pressures from agents and recruiters, the press, and his parents. Ursula helped him put things in perspective. They love you when you're here. They love you when you're here and you're, you're putting out all your effort out there and you're winning games for the fans and the coaches and what have you. But uh, after you're gone, when you come back, people look at you and say, didn't you used to play ball here? You don't have to uh, go after a player after he's out of school, and yet you do. It's important for them to graduate. You know, they gave four or five years to it. They don't have a degree. The university really owes them that. Hello? Ursula? Yeah. Yes, this is Pat Woodruff. Hi. Ursula Walsh has been so What's successful, she is now the academic counselor for all nine of the men's sports at Nebraska. What's the matter? And the coaches love her. When game plans stall, her boys can see the problem and correct it. They don't have to wait for the highlight films. For today, Bob Dotson, NBC News, Lincoln, Nebraska.